Hi guys, welcome to Full Time Devils. I'm Adam Akola and we are in Manchester Airport ready to board our flight to Brussels. We're there for Anderlecht against Manchester United, the first leg of the last eight tie in the Europa League. This could be United's only way into the Champions League for next season. So tired. So once we get to Belgium, get a Belgian beer. I'll be on it. Brussels, yes, we're by the European Parliament. Probably the place where Theresa May got her letter delivered to when we did that whole Article 50 nonsense. But anyway, less of that. We're here in Brussels, United against Anderlecht tonight. We're without a ticket as well, because check this, we applied in the ballot, got rejected, but while we were waiting for the ballot results, we booked the trip. So we're here. Anyway, fan cams are definitely happening. Firstly though, I've got to eat. We've got to get to the hotel, drop our bags off, charge our phones. Boom, so we've just got here to the hotel. Happy days, we have arrived. About six hours till kickoff now. So, time to get in, get the phones in that charge, get myself charged up. Hey, this ain't bad, is it? So we're in the taxi now. Um, first things first, we need to go get the beer, but we are heading towards the ground. Now, we haven't got tickets and there's a whole load of security tonight. So praying that's not an issue, but firstly, big game, Anderlecht United. The last time we were here, we lost 2-1 in the Champions League group stages. Dennis Irwin scoring a goal, but we had beaten them 5-0 at Old Trafford with Andy Cole bagging loads of goals as he normally does. So what am I expecting today? Well, first of all, if we lose this game, um, then we don't deserve Champions League football next season. It's that simple. So I don't want any excuses today from Manchester United. I'm expecting nothing less than a win. Um, and we should be able to get a win against this side. Yes, they have their threats. Their main man, their top goal scorer, Tia is on the bench. He's not fit to start. Of course, we've got Tillsman, a few other players, but United should be beating this team. Loads of United fans here as well. I'm sure they'll be in positive voices in the stadium. Loads will be outside the stadium as well. There's not many have taken the, the, the advice of the Anderlecht mayor, whoever it was, but we're here and uh, let's see how we get on. <music> Now, so basically guys, we're just walking through a park, which I don't know if you can see that behind the trees. It's right behind the stadium. We've made it to the stadium. Now, listen, we had to tell a few porkies to get this close because we ain't got a ticket, but we managed to get close. Now, we need to A, try and find a ticket, B, try and find a pub, or C, I'm not sure what C is, but we just saw Paddy Curran. He said a few of his friends are struggling for tickets as well, which is crazy. Um, but he's confident for the game. I'm confident for the game. But so are these Anderlecht fans as well. These lot are confident for this game. Uh, we were just speaking to a Belgian red who's sitting amongst the Anderlecht fans. Crazy. So there must be quite a few of them in there today. But um, I'm looking forward to this game. We're getting very close to kickoff now. We'll be going live soon with the team news. Um, I'm hoping we see Mkhitaryan, hoping we see Zlatan. I'm hoping we see Marshall too. Um, but will Marshall start? He hasn't started recently. After being in the starting lineup for a few weeks, running under Jose Mourinho, will he start here today? Still spitting feathers. So I think it's, it's beer o'clock. Finally got that beer, thank God for that. Um, we're just ready to go live as well soon, so waiting for that team news. I'm not sure who's in the team yet. Fingers crossed it's a good one. So the team's out now. Um, I'm liking the team, but I'm a bit concerned about Marshall. Where is Marshall? Why hasn't he been in the side? But 
could be saving him for that Chelsea game. Herrera's not in the team. Luke Shaw's not in the team. Are they being saved for that game against Chelsea? I hope so, because I miss him. been to go and get a beer got one happy days buzzing cheers producer Chris that'll do right so we're here now um, we're here by the gate now in behind this gate is a stadium outside this gate is clubs pubs and bars so we were stood here ready to go get a pint a gentleman comes over to us through the gate it's like, mate, they only sell non-alcoholic beer over here. Could you go get me two beers? So he's giving me the money. 50 cents short, may I add. But he's giving me the money. So me and Chris have gone. There was a lot of queue. We've had to wait a while, but we've got the beers. Now, before I went, I said to him, thanks for the beer, mate. We've taken a while in the queue and we've come back with the beers. Only problem is, there's no man we didn't manage to get a ticket in the end the stadium's right there to think the action's going on there and i'm watching it in here is incredible um we're watching the game in a bar we've got a beer on tap so i suppose that's the benefit um, but i'd rather be here than sat in my house like Stephen house and his at old united haven't started off too badly but Hasn't been a great start, let's be honest. And they're gonna grow in confidence as well, so we need to get our, our foot down in this game. Come on, boys. All right, guys, so it's half time, one nil to Manchester United. Mkhitaryan with another away goal in Europe. The man loves the scoring away goals in Europe, doesn't he? San Etienne, Rostov, Zoya, and now here against Anderlecht. Now, something that I wanna talk about, guys. Look how many people are here behind me. Now, you saw me talking about the game earlier. Um, just before I went into the pub and there was nobody here. This is because these guys are the crowd from the stadium. They've let them come out for a beer at half time. Can you imagine that happening at Old Trafford? Absolute madness. Um, I might go and try to jib it back in though with them. <laughs> Dangerous area, Carrick Yellow. I'm still confused by how all those fans use this place as their concourse. Crazy. So we've come in to do the review and we've walked into the equivalent of the Stretford End. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grab that. So, back in the taxi now, um, heading back to the hotel. Can't wait to get back, but, but, I'm so disappointed, man. Conceding that late goal, late, late goal. We've got some fan cams in the can, so they'll be up, but, just so, I'm still, I can't shake the disappointment off that goal. Like, why do you, we always do this? That felt like a league game, Premier League game at Old Trafford. Dominate for 90 minutes, get loads of chances, only take one, don't take enough. Opposition score in the late and they grab, well they didn't grab a point, but they grabbed a crucial goal for them. And now they go into the game at Old Trafford all level. If we went to Old Trafford um, with a lead against this lot, we're through. Because we're not losing at home against this lot. It's that simple. And United now really do need to shape up, fix up, and make sure we don't mess about because this competition is important for United. We need Champions League football next season. If we don't beat this lot at home, we don't deserve to go through to the semi-finals. We don't deserve to get Champions League football next season. And it's another waste of a season, but we need to do it. And that's why I'm so unsure about this Europa League now, because we need to do it. We haven't finished fourth and the Europa League is a bonus. Not yet anyway. Um, it's seeming like Europa League is going to be the only way into the Champions League if we don't fix up in the league and we got a big game coming on Chelsea. So 
mixture of emotions at the moment, mixture of thoughts running through my head as you can probably guess from what I've been saying here. Um, I thought the first half was impressive. I thought Pogba was impressive at times. I thought Rashford Lingard in the first half. I thought the second half, we didn't do enough. We didn't deserve it. Zlatan was poor, Mickey was poor, Rashford was poor, Lingard was poor. Um, the subs are poor. We didn't do enough in that second half. Um, I'd give the man of the match to Pogba or Valencia, but I don't really think any player hugely stood out. I'm not going to stay disappointed for long. Because we're, we're on the road, mate. Right then. We've just got back in. So it's time for producer Chris to get the fan cams up. And it's time for me. Chris is... <laughs> Chris just stubbed his toe. <laughs> right. Um, besides that, um, I've been told by the guy at the reception that there's no food in the hotel at the moment. There's not many places open, but there is a kebab place. Not far, so I'm gonna go walk for that. Um, oh, and Argrees is also staying in our building as well. All right, guys, what's going on? So we're up now. Let me tell you, that sleep was absolutely wonderful. Yes, it was. Didn't wake up once, and I normally do in hotel beds. But anyway, less of my sleeping pattern. It's almost time to check out of our hotel. And we've got like eight, nine hours until our flight. So it looks like we'll be doing a little bit of exploring of the city. My favorite thing about yesterday, apart from Mkhitaryan's goal, Timothy Fosu Mensa's tackle. And I ain't talking about his meat and veg. I'm talking about his two-footed challenge when he come on. <laughs> Could have been sent off. He wasn't. Never a booking, man. What are you doing? Players should just get up and play on. Hope we see more of him for the rest of the season. Because that kind of energy can change things, you know what I mean? Even if it is going down to 10 men. Anyway, time to get checked out. Um, time to explore some of Brussels before we go to the airport. <laughs> I love fried chicken. I love to get burger meals and shit. Is that a chicken cottage, Jim? Bargain bucket. Would you say you like I used to love this show. And also, when I was in school, yeah, primary school, I used to be called Tintin because of my hair. Setting trends back in the day was Adam. You're always filming you. I see a meeting. Bad luck, that. Isn't it? I'm here with Patrick. You may have already seen his fan cam last night. Um, just having a few beers. We're heading off. In about an hour, heading towards the airport. You want to go to a Sunday? Yeah, chilly. What do you think of the city? It's nice, yeah, yeah. It's uh, busy. It's like, uh, I suppose, any, any capital you'd imagine, I suppose. But yeah, it's nice, nice, nice. What did you, nice. you make of the football yesterday? First half was great. Uh, thought we played really well first half. Really, you know, impressed with how we dominated the play. Second half, I mean, absolutely wrong, I think. Um, everything slowed down. You know, the fans were quiet. Uh, the gameplay was slower. Do you think the style of play has a, a, or the, the failure to take chances has a massive effect on the fans sometimes? Because I know sometimes on a way end, like we could be losing and the way end will just keep bouncing regardless. But do you think like when the team expects us to win and then we fail to do so and then we keep missing chances, does it not going to affect on the fans? Sometimes. I, mean, I think if we're, if we're going for it, it's easier for the fans to get behind the team. When we sit off a bit, it's you know it's easier for us to just be a bit quieter in the away end and uh, you know, just, just relax a little. Uh, but yesterday, I thought it, it, it slowed down too much. It slowed down to the point where you know, we, we started getting a bit bored, and all of a sudden you, you could feel we weren't going to get that second goal, and you could feel that we were going to get caught on the counter. And we shouldn't be putting that game to bed. Chelsea next. We found out today that no Juan Mata for the rest of the season, which is, we kind of knew it already, but then there was rumours he'd be back early and now he's definitely out for the rest of the season. How much of a miss is he going to be? 
I think he's been a really good player this season. Um, you know, him and him and Valencia have been up there as two of my favourites for the season. So disappointing to have him out. He can always find uh, the last pass that we need. You know, I, I think back to back when Di Maria was here and the little one-two to chip the ball back over. You know, Di Maria obviously played that ball back over. Matters movement there. I think we, we slow the game down too much and, and sometimes it matter as slow as he is can find that ball that just speeds it up again um, so yeah disappointing to have him Paddy's here till Sunday um, and then he gets back arrived at Birmingham Airport 1pm on Sunday and has a couple of hours to get there for the 4pm kickoff at Old Trafford you'll definitely make that um, what you got rest plan for the rest of your trip? Just a bit of a tourist, yeah, just getting to getting to see the place a bit more and enjoy what Russia's got to offer. Ass steak. Sounds chewy and tasty. <laughs> so. Time to get out of here. We're at the airport, I think. Right then, we're about to board our flight back to Manchester and uh, can't wait to get on that plane. But it has been a great, great trip. I've really enjoyed this one. Love coming out on the road with Manchester United. But even though we never got a ticket, and you know what? Even though it was a draw, you never let the football ruin a good trip. And we made sure we had a damn good time. Um, guys, while I've got you here, make sure you just subscribe to my YouTube channel, Adam Matt TV. And also, if you followed us on this full-time Devil's Journey, via Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever, then thank you very much. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I'm Adam, is producer Chris. We're out here.